Okay guys, Private Jack here, and this is the tutorial on how to actually set up these paintable skins that I've uploaded to the workshop. And I was going to get into why we have to do this kind of stuff and all the rest of the good stuff, but it just got a little bit too confusing and I'm not going to even bother going there. So there's two ways we can do this, and uh, this video is going to show part uh, the first way the simplest way to do it it's not the recommended way to do it but it will get the job done so first thing we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to all the items and if you can either click on them and go into them individually and subscribe or in all of these things I have provided a link to a collection just come in here and the link is in the same place for all the different skins click on that it'll take you to a collection where all the paintable skins are in this collection you can pick and choose whichever one you want or if you want them all you can click on subscribe to all that will go through it'll check them on if you don't want a particular skin you can check it off and that skin won't be downloaded okay I want them all so I'm gonna make sure they're all checked and then I'm going to launch source filmmaker Okay, I'm going to create a session and I should get a pop-up box here saying, do I want to download the workshop files? I click on OK. And when you get this particular uh, pop-up, if you don't select yes to all, the models or the skins may not work. So I just click on yes to all and it's going to update this particular file and it's going to do it for every one of the skins so stand by notice I'm clicking yes to all when you've got them all selected and it's finished it will pop up this saying that all the files are downloaded now these files are going to end up in the workshop folder, uh, Source Filmmaker Game Workshop Materials folder under Models, Player, and in their individual folders. So if I click on Demo, I'm going to find in here uh, Blue VMT, Blue Paint, Red VMT, Red Paint. Not all of them have individual paints. It depended on whether or not there were slight differences in the skins. Both the blue and the red are paintable uh, for all the skins. And also the HWM models and the player models are paintable. So I tried to do the whole gambit, which is why I included the open jacket for the spy. Okay, so now that they're in the workshop folder, the unrecommended way to make these things work is to actually close down Source Filmmaker again, come down here into the SDK, click on Edit Search Paths, and pull the workshop folder above TF Movies. This is going to place the workshop folder and a higher priority than TF Movies and TF. This TF extract is my extracted game cache files from the TF game. Okay, so basically these are going to override all of those player skins. Okay, the HWM and the player models. If I load up Source Filmmaker now, Load up a map.
load up either the HWM or the player model. I'm going to load up one of each. Okay, I've got them both in here now. I'm going to pull back here and I'm going to bring them both up onto stage. Separate them. So that's the HWM model and this is the player model. I'm going to give them both an override material I'm going to send the HWM model off into the element viewer. I'm going to expand the materials and scroll down here to Sniper Red SFM. Where are you? Right there. And if you find that the material has a tint, uh, color tint base, if you click on the color swatch, you should be able to paint that. Now, with the uh, sniper, I also gave the ability to tint out the glasses uh, if you want. Now on the player model, I'm going to send that one into the element viewer now. And this one is using the sniper red. And if I move that, I will find that it is paintable as well. Now, I, like I said, if I change the skins to blue, And I tried to keep the colors of the spawn models as close to the originals as I possibly could. But again, uh, if I come down here to SFM Blue, for no, uh, it was Sniper Blue for the player model. I have that color base tint. I can paint the blue model as well. Same thing for the HWM. And that would be SFM blue. Skins, not the skin. There it is. There's the color swatch. And he is paintable. Okay, that is the unrecommended way of doing it. And I say it's unrecommended simply due to the fact that now you're giving the workshop folders all the higher priority. So if you've got any other models that are using skins that are for... Uh, other things it's going to have a higher priority and you're not going to get the original skins for them okay with that I'm going to kill this particular video off and I'm going to make another one showing the recommended way of actually doing this so uh, if you don't want to do it this way uh, watch the other video with that I'm going to say private jack out <laughs>